President's Day and my daughter was supposed to be off, my husband was supposed to be off, and I was off as well, but because of the snow days, they actually added it as a school day to my daughter's calendar and then my husband ended up having to work. So I am off today. So I thought that I would do a little spend the day with me. I, of course, am going to go to the mall because you guys, let's face it, any chance I get, any opportunity I get to peruse and browse, that's what I like to do. And whenever I'm home on the weekends, I don't really like to drag my daughter to do that. Let's face it, she doesn't like shopping or anything like that. So like I said, whenever I have a, a day off for just me, that's what I try to do. So I'm going to go and kind of peruse. I do have a $25 gift card to Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't have anything specific that I'm looking for. I'm just going to kind of go and just kind of browse and I thought I would take you guys along with me. So like usual, let me go ahead. Let me share with you my outfit of the day. Okay, let's start with my sunglasses. These are Key Australia. I wanna say this was the JLo collaboration. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I will try to find something similar. I then have my Kendra Scott uh, Drusy necklaces on. These are two separate necklaces, but I just wanted to pair them together. I have a top that I got from Target for like $5. I did recently pick up this trench coat. It's a little wrinkly, sorry about that. Um, I got it. I think it was from Loft. I will link it down below. I have my new Chanel boy in the beautiful pink color. I'm so excited to start wearing this more. I have my frame jeans and then these, I don't know if I share these. These are some Adidas um, white sneakers, but as you can see, the back of them has like the blush pink. So it kind of goes with my bag but that is my outfit of the day as you can tell super casual we'll be doing a lot of walking I want to be nice and comfy so yeah so now let me share with you really quickly what is in my bag Okay, so here she is, my beautiful Chanel boy. I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance to look at this color in person in the boutique, it is just the perfect pink, it really is. So I'm using this today and I went ahead and I took everything out. I have this right here, this is my Chanel uh, coin purse and this is where I keep all of my credit cards. Uh, this is a really, really handy little wallet. Then I have, this is my Chanel Small Cosmetic Pouch. Love this as well. This is where I keep receipts, a little bit of cash, some coin as well. I have my mask because some places are still requiring it, so I keep it uh, in my purse just in case. This is my slip silk face mask. I have this perfume right here. This is just a little sample of On the Beach by Louis Vuitton. I have been wearing this lately and I just absolutely love it. And I mentioned in my recent video, if you guys want me to do a top 10 favorite luxury fragrances, I can do this, but this is really nice for the summer. And I have my little Louis Vuitton monogram uh, key pouch. Uh, this one unfortunately recently went up in the price increase. I'm so sad about that, but I love this. It's super functional. This is where I keep a couple major credit cards. I have my key fob. Uh, I also have my ID. And then I have this little cutie right here. It's in the most beautiful blue. It is my Hermes Calvi. And on the inside of here, I just have my sex gift card. I have like a little like ice cream uh, gift card and a couple other little things. I think I have a Target gift card as well. But this is everything that I have in my purse. I can fit a little more. Like I do have my phone, but I'm actually filming on that right now. And I usually just keep my phone in my pocket. But that is everything in my beautiful, beautiful Chanel boy. Hey, okay, I am in the car and we are gonna get going. Usually I like to have a coffee in the afternoon, but I think I'm gonna get one for my ride down. So let's go ahead and head to Starbucks. Hopefully it's not too crowded. That's one of the reasons I like to go in the afternoon too is because it's not as crowded and sometimes in the morning it can get a little crowded, but it's okay. We need a little morning pick-me-up for our fun shopping day. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, how are you today? I'm good, what can I get for you? Um, can I please have a tall iced vanilla latte with one pump of vanilla and one stevia? You said and one stevia? Yes ma'am, one pump Perfect. of vanilla and one stevia. Gotcha, anything else for you today? No, thank you. 
Okay, so that'll be 483. Thank you. Thank you. So I've actually been changing up my order. I have found that recently it's been really sweet. So now I will get a tall iced vanilla latte with one stevia and one pump of vanilla. It's so much better that way, just not as sweet. So yummy, yummy. Okay, let's try, let's see how it is. Very good. As I stated, I have been finding lately that when I get the tall iced vanilla latte with one stevia, it's really really sweet and I'm not really drinking it as much so I was like well I want to do something where I can kind of cut the calories down a little bit and make it so it's not as sweet and I definitely find that one pump of vanilla is better they used to do three pumps and there were some days I couldn't even finish it so there you go it is very very yummy I would recommend trying it if you get a chance okay so now we are going to get going and I have to say, I am interested to see if Louis Vuitton is going to have long lines now that there is the price increase. I guarantee you they probably will, but we will see. Okay, I just got to the mall and they are opening up. I actually got here a couple minutes early, but it looks like they are opening their doors now. So let's go ahead and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> into a bunch of stores. I went into Louis Vuitton. I went into Chanel. And I will tell you guys, even though there is a price increase and there was a price increase for Louis Vuitton, there was still like a really long line at the store. So I don't really think the price increase is stopping people. I think ultimately if it's something they really want, they're going to pay the price. And it's unfortunate. I mean, I definitely agree that the price increases have been crazy lately, but ultimately people are still going to pay it because like I said I just saw a huge line still at Louis Vuitton but I'm just really happy that I was able to get a couple of the bags I wanted before the price increase but I went into Chanel and oh my gosh you guys I'm still so happy with my purchase when I picked up that boy bag in the light pink and I've been looking for some pink small other goods but I haven't really had much luck I went into Louis Vuitton and I did pick up a little something I will share that with you later on in the video and then I did also go to Sephora and pick something up as well and I wanted to get your guys thoughts so you guys know that I have more of a casual lifestyle now since I am working from home and what are your guys thoughts on Golden Goose sneakers because I'm gonna be honest when I first saw them no offense to anyone that has them I thought they were the ugliest shoes ever but now lately they've really been growing on me and I saw a pair that would kind of go with my Chanel bag but I don't know I just have not been able to pull the trigger on them because like they're sneakers that are made to look dirty and I know they're in style but I don't know I just haven't been able to pull the trigger so let me know if you own them do you like them are they comfortable because I have heard that those shoes are not really the most comfortable and I have Adidas shoes that are just as comfortable but I just I liked the looks of this particular style because the little star kind of went with my Chanel bag and I want to be able to wear that as much as I can so let me know your thoughts on that 
what else did I want to tell you? Uh, but yeah, I've had a good day so far. So now I'm going to head home. I still have a little bit of time before my daughter's bus. So I think I'm going to stop by Home Goods, And then I might get my nails done. My nails are getting so long. And this gel polish has lasted so long. I really don't want to get them done but you can see like it's really getting to that point where I have to get them chopped off because my hair is starting to get like caught underneath do you guys ever have that happen with the gel so I might get my nails done depending on whether or not there's a wait so I am going to head to home goods now and I'll take you guys along with me as you know I've mentioned it I am kind of redoing my little office space at home since I'm working from home so I'm kind of trying to find a couple more little things so I will take you guys along with me and then later on I will share with you what I picked up from Louis Vuitton as well as Sephora back home I have to say I went into home goods I went into Marshall's I went into home sense I was so disappointed they just really didn't have anything I was looking for but I guess I really don't know what I'm looking for for my office I'm hoping that when I go to home sense or home goods I will just see something and it'll just like spark oh I need that but at the same time, I want to be careful not to force too much in because then it can look too cluttered. So anyway, I didn't have any luck there, but I just got home. I don't know if I'm going to get my nails done because I went by the nail salon and it is so crowded. So I might have to hold off a couple more days on my nails. They don't look horrible. They're just getting really, really long. So I find that at work, it's like kind of hard to type. So anyway, uh, I got home. My husband said he'll be home soon. So when he gets home, we're going to go for a nice walk. It is a beautiful day. It is February and it is 60 degrees. It is so pretty. I love the fall, but I think the spring when it's like between 60 and 70 is my favorite. I like the type where there's just a little bit of chill in the air. You can go on a nice walk, but it's not too hot or too cold. So we are going to go on a walk before uh, Sky's bus gets uh, home. And then I think tonight we're just going to fix chicken for dinner or something like that. But I will be sure to share with you the items that I got as as I stated, I got a little something from Louis Vuitton and I also got something from Sephora as well. So I will share that with you. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let the dog out really quickly. Oh, and I do have a package. So I'll share that with you as well. How are you? How is my baby? I love you. Sit, sit. You are so cute. I love you. Look at this. I love you. Okay guys, I'm home, but I want to show you a little behind the scenes. This is my filming space and I did a recent video kind of sharing with you a couple of the new beauty products I picked up as well as some free gifts. So if you want to check out that video, make sure to do so, but this is kind of a little behind the scenes. So now let's go into my little closet space here and let me share with you what I picked up. Okay, I wanted to share with you a couple of dresses that I got in the mail. This is going to be for any like upcoming events. I have a couple of weddings, you know, you have Easter, any type of special event. And I saw all these dresses and I thought they were so pretty. So this first one is like a periwinkle blue and it has white and it has really pretty ruffles on the bottom. Okay, and then here is another one. This is a midi dress, so it goes right below the knee, but I thought that that would look so pretty. It's almost like a halter. And you can wear like some nude pumps with it. Super, super cute. And then this one I thought would be really nice for Easter. You can see it has ruffles and it has this beautiful pink flower. And the reason I liked it for Easter is it actually has a sleeve. And you know how sometimes Easter can be a little chilly. But I thought that was so cute. And all of these dresses I would probably pair with a nude bag and nude shoes. And you guys know I've had my eye on that YSL nude clutch. So I might end up picking that up because it would match really nicely with all of these dresses. So I just got all of these in the mail and I wanted to share them with you because anytime I find a dress that I like, I try to stock up because you never know 
when you're gonna have a wedding or a special event. I had a quick little outfit change. I changed into some comfy pants. I changed into a sweatshirt and I am actually going to get my nails done. So I actually called and they were able to fit me in. So currently I have the pink. This is what I usually do, but I think I'm going to do maybe some sort of green or mint or turquoise since St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So I will share that with you guys and show you what I end up getting. I just finished and I did something a little different. I did a cat eye. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this or done a cat. I've done it once before. I think like a year or two ago I did it around Halloween, but it's really, really neat. I got this iridescent color and then they use a magnet. So it looks like a cat eye, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, a little bit of turquoise and has like some purples. It's a neat iridescent. So I wanted to do something a little different with St. Patrick's stay coming up I didn't want to do like a flat-out green I want to do something that like had shades of green in it but I thought that was kind of neat so yeah I had them cut my nails too so it feels a lot better it'll be easier at work when I go to um, type because I don't know about you guys but when I type when my nails get really long it makes it a little more difficult but yeah so that is the cat eye super excited to get a uh, my nails done and just get a fresh color. Okay, I am in my little closet here and I wanna share with you what I picked up from Louis Vuitton. And then I wanna also share with you um, the little item I got from Sephora really quickly before my husband gets home. And then when he gets home, we're gonna go on a nice little walk and spend the evening together. And then my daughter will get home, we'll have chicken, have dinner, you know, that type of stuff. So anyway, I wanna share with you what I picked up. So I went to Sephora. And I almost got some shampoo and conditioner. They had like a little set, but it looked like it had kind of been ripped and they didn't have any others. So I went ahead and I passed on that. But you guys know how much I love this little Givenchy lipstick case. It is the pink case. And then I have this really pretty, like really beautiful mauve tone. It's in the shade beige nude and you can see it's really, really pretty. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. I will link it down below. It's just such a velvety texture, but I also love this case. So I wanted to get another case and I got it in the shade 55. So as much as I love pink, I love turquoise and mint green as well. And they have this really pretty mint green Givenchy case. It says Givenchy there and then it has little silver dots all over it. And the nice thing about this is you can interchange it. So if I wanna use this case, I can use the same lipstick and put it in there. So it's super, super cute. And these little cases are $15 and then you buy the lipstick separate. So I will link the, both of these cases down below as well as this shade. Again, I love this shade. I am wearing it today and it just feels so like velvety smooth. It really, really does. Okay. So that's what I got from Sephora. Now let's go to Louis Vuitton. I went into Louis Vuitton. This is post price increase. And as I mentioned before, there were still lines in the store. So I don't know if the price increases. I know a lot of people say they're going to stay away, but I don't know if that is entirely true, judging from how the lines were today. But I didn't get any handbags, any small other goods or anything. They were kind of cleaned out of most items, but I did go in there because I wanted to get a new fragrance. Well, it's, it's not actually new. I've tried it before, but I knew I wanted to buy the full size. So I'll share with you what I got. Comes packaged very nicely. And the scent that I picked up is actually Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. This is a beautiful scent. And you guys, I think the price did go up for this because it was $280 for the 100 milliliter. And I'm pretty sure before it was like $265. So it did go up like $15. But I really, really love this scent. So it comes in this beautiful blue box and it opens like this. And then I love the Louis Vuitton fragrances because they come in this little cylinder and you open it like so and I got afternoon swim this is a beautiful scent so I had gotten samples from my sales associate before just to kind of see if I liked it and it is a really really good scent it can be a masculine or a feminine scent but I just love it. it just smells so nice and fresh and I don't know but when I wear this it just makes me happy I'm gonna spray a little more now keep in mind 
With the Louis Vuitton scents, you do not need a lot. They are very potent. I have On the Beach, I have California Dream, very, very potent. But I picked this up and usually they can engrave your name on the bottle, but they said today their like machine or something wasn't working. Otherwise, I definitely would have gotten that done. But I got this and then um, she also gave me a couple of samples. And I have to tell you the one off the bat that I tried and I walked around and I used. So first off, I got On the Beach, which I know I love already. It's one of my favorites. I got Afternoon Swim, which I just bought. And then the other one that she threw in there, it was called, I'm going to butcher the name. I'm so sorry. Etol Filante. She described it as a floral scent. And typically I don't really like like really florally scents, but this smells so good. I sprayed it in the store and then I, I ate lunch. And then after lunch, I sprayed it again. I really liked it. So I'm going to have to keep wearing this. And if I really like it, I might have to invest in this too. You guys know I've been on a perfume kick lately. I mentioned in my last video that if you guys want me to do like a dedicated video on my top 10 luxury fragrances, I can definitely do that. I've really been into them lately, but Afternoon Swim, again, this can be for a man or a woman. I love it. It reminds me of summer, like spring, summer scent, but it is just a beautiful scent and it just makes me like really, really happy. And I will put the notes up on the screen. I've mentioned before, I'm not the best at describing fragrances, but I really, really like it. It's another one of those scents that when I first smelled it, I wasn't sure how I would like it, but the more I wore it, the more it really grew on me. So I knew I wanted to get a full size bottle because I had a couple samples and I went through all of them. So this is definitely a scent I've been wanting for a while. So that is what I picked up from Louis Vuitton. And while I was in there, I, I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys, I definitely am on the hunt for a keep all bag, like a big keep all to use, like a travel bag to use for weekend trips. And so they had like a Damier Ben design. They had the Damier Graphite. They had the regular monogram. So I kind of have those on my radar for the future. I don't plan on buying one anytime soon, but that is on my radar for the future. So there you have it, you guys. I had a really fun day today, and now I'm going to spend some time with my family this evening. Like usual, I will link all my outfit details. I will link everything I picked up down below. And then let me know your thoughts on the Golden Goose sneakers. Yay or nay? What do you think? As I stated, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, why would you want to buy sneakers that look dirty? But just like anything else, they have kind of grown on me a little bit. So I thought that that one pair would go kind of nicely with my Chanel pink boy. So let me know your thoughts on that. And then also I have to tell you, I've been loving my Chanel pink boy. And today I got a few compliments from people. They're like, oh my gosh, that bag is so pretty. And I'm really, really happy that I went with the boy bag. You guys know that I, I did want the classic flap in that color. And I'm not saying that I will never, ever get the classic flap in that color down the road, but I'm so happy I opted for the boy bag because it is more of a casual bag and I've already been able to wear it more than I think I would have worn the classic flap. I think the classic flap would have sat a little more than the boy bag has. And I'm really I'm able to get a lot of use out of. I, I did find some Adidas sneakers. I will pop up the picture of me wearing it where it has that color pink in it. So that kind of pairs nicely. Then in the summer, I can wear it with sandals. So I've been really, really pleasantly surprised by that bag. But anyway, thank you guys for coming along with me. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys again for coming along. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Oh,